This has the potential to be a great anime to live action adaptation. Please be good. What they want is a god. So let's give it to them. So Death Note is the latest film that is based off of an anime to be brought to live action and in Death Note we follow Light Turner played by Nat Wolf, a high schooler who happens to stumble across a Death Note when it falls down from the sky and when he discovers the power it holds which is killing somebody when he writes a name in the book he also finds that a death god named Ryuk played by Willem Dafoe is following him so him and his girlfriend Mia Sutton played by Marco Qualley decide to rid the world of criminals they have cops following them, and among them is an enigmatic cop, L, played by Lakeith Stanfield. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Death Note. I was really looking forward to Death Note for a few reasons. I love the anime. I haven't quite finished the series yet, but I've gone about halfway through, and from what I have seen from the series, I love it. Second reason is because Willem Dafoe was voicing Ryuk and if anybody could voice Ryuk it would definitely be Willem Dafoe. From hearing his laughs he's perfect for the guy. And the last thing is that Adam Weingart was directing and I am a huge fan of his from VHS 1, VHS 2, Your Next, The Guest, and Blair Witch who I thought, which I thought was pretty underrated. And then plus before it even came out it was getting so much backlash from fans saying Netflix Adam Wingard and the cast had killed Death Note, and that was one of the few people saying, guys, give this movie a chance before you rip it to shreds, all right? So I watched it, and I gotta say to you guys, it's not a terrible movie at all. The most I could say about the cast is that they tried their best with the script that they were given. Nawolf, who I have liked in the past, I thought did the best that he could possibly do with the script he was given, and there were a few times where I thought that he really did show quite some range with Light Turner in this film. That's the most I could say about the acting besides William Defoe. They did what they could with the script that they were given. But Lakeith Stanfield who plays L, the cop who is chasing after Light and Mia, I thought that Lakeith Stanfield did a great job as L. I thought he actually nailed L's mannerisms, how he's weird from the show, how he's able to deduce things very quickly. But of everybody in this movie, the one who steals the show from everybody is William Dafoe as Ryuk. They seriously couldn't have gotten a more perfect actor to play Ryuk. William Dafoe nailed Ryuk from his snarky attitude to his jokes to the bantering with him and Elle and his laugh. Seriously, William Dafoe was perfect. Like I said, one of the reasons why I was looking forward to this movie is because of Adam Wingard, who I feel like is one of the best upcoming directors working today. And Adam Wingard puts his stamp all over this movie. It's a very stylish looking film. How Adam Wingard moves the camera. It's almost in a state where it's never not moving. And which the point where Adam Wingard puts a lot of energy and a lot of focus into the film. When the death though is actually being used to kill certain criminals. It looked really cool. It had a Final Destination look to it. But it not in the way that it rips it off. Like it, it gives it its own type of feeling to it. And how the ending ties everything together. I thought was really cool and really interesting. <laughs> Unfortunately, while Death Note isn't a terrible movie per se, it's not quite a good film. It's just, it's disappointingly decent. Now, like I said, while the actors do enough with their characters, the biggest problem I have with the characters is that the characters aren't given really that much development. Light is given maybe a few sentences for his character, but I just didn't feel anything. Margaret Qualley, who I, I like as an actor, I liked her acting enough in this movie, but there were just times where how she emoted, it seemed like she was overcooking it a little too much. Like there was a scene where she was pretty much doing this. And plus I just didn't buy Mia and Light's uh, relationship together. It just, it came off almost a little too forced, but there were parts here and there where I did feel the potential of their romance. And also Ryuk, even though I loved Ryuk in this movie, I feel like we didn't get enough of Ryuk. Like if I were to give my advice to Adam Wingard and the screenwriters, I would have said this, there is no such thing as too much Ryuk. Like I would have had Ryuk all over this film and that would have enhanced this movie so much more. But altogether guys, my biggest flaw with this film, well there are two of them, it's the script and the runtime. The script feels way too rushed. When you watch the anime, the anime is, I believe, 36 episodes, so it's so it's given plenty of time to, to develop this 
big arc with Light, Mia, Ryuk, L. But with the film, the film is about an hour 40 minutes. I would describe Death Note like a fine wine that's not given enough time to breathe. Had the film given time to breathe, we could have had better care to the film. The story wouldn't have been as rushed. And my last thing was that there were some scenes, like there were some big plot twists that were way too predictable. Like there's this one plot twist that happens near the end of the film in which I called out 45 minutes before it happened. Overall guys, while Death Note isn't a terrible movie per se, it's just frustrating that it's just only a decent film. Given the filmmaking talent involved, this should have been such a great film. And not to mention the film just feels too rushed. This film should have been at least two hours and 15 minutes or even better an eight hour series on Netflix. While there are some enjoyable aspects to Death Note, it unfortunately just doesn't quite get to a good film for me. So overall guys, I'm gonna give Death Note a two and a half out of five. This is so disappointing for me because I was, I was one of the guys that wanted to say, guys, give this movie a chance, it's actually really good. But unfortunately, it just didn't get there for me. All right guys, so comment out and let me know below. Are you guys looking forward to Death Note? If so, or if not, let me know below, or let me know below. Are you guys a fan of the anime series? Let me know below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, and I'm also on Snapchat. So if you guys want to follow me on all those social media platforms, all of the links and the usernames are in the description below. I hope you guys liked my review of Death Note. If so, please hit that like button and also subscribe to see more reviews just like this one. If you guys want to see my review of the Hitman's Bodyguard, please click right here. And if you guys want to see my review of Logan Lucky, please click right there. And of course, until the next review, I will see you guys next time.